what's the what's the best and worst thing about doing TV work, or, or the sort of TV work that you were doing with, you know, the biker build off and um, you know, build or bust? Revelator L. Well, I have to say, um, they're two two quite different things. Build or bust was was a very specific show looking for a story arc with a hard-ass director yeah. and, uh, you know, thumb screws being turned left, right, and center. Was, um, he, was he the guy with the, the cigar? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scott, you know, bless him. That's bless it, that's him. It. Great yeah. show, great show. But, you know, you know, he's a, he's a personality to get along with, uh, yeah. young Scott. Um, but, he was an arse. <laughs> you said that, not me. I did not. I don't know him. I don't know me. He might have been a real. He, he, he was not an ass. He just played one on TV. <laughs> played it very well. He played it very well. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. He's a natural. But um, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But uh, but the the biker build off was, I thought, fabulous in its own right because it was at such at the infancy of reality tv yeah even even tom beers who is you know, like the god of reality yeah, yeah. tv even tom beers at that point was naive enough to think that reality tv had to be something about reality so we were actually building those bikes and doing those rides and having yeah. those deadlines it wasn't like okay well we've got the thing and now let's pretend the gas tank isn't here and bite our nails for a bit and okay yeah. we've got that scene shot it was it was real. They were down, they were, you know, behind you waiting. And if something exciting happened, it happened. And if something exciting didn't happen, it didn't happen. And they filmed a lot of it. Um, I've always been pretty comfortable on camera anyway. Like I said, I did the whole struggling yeah, yeah, yeah. actor thing and what have you, and always, you know, been a bit of an arrogant git. So um, I took to it pretty nicely. And, uh, and in fact, you know, I think we ended up on Biker Build-Off because I wrote to Hugh King and said, you know, you're doing Biker Build-Off. I'm the best bloody bike builder in the country. Why am I not on your TV show? And, you know, no, I love ne that. I love next, that. Day, next day he called me up and we got together and, and we became good buddies. He, I like yeah, you. Yeah. He was great. And Tom's a nice bloke too. I, you know, Tom's yeah. a Tom's friend. Um, but did, um, you find, did you find that the cameras kind of got in the way uh, or would they kind of... Uh, kept their distance you know quite respectfully for uh, you know from what you're doing they were uh they were very professional the discovery yeah. crews were very professional you know it was the big budget show um really was top-notch stuff top-notch stuff and they you know at that time they had a, a monopoly on it you know every all the other channels went off and tried to do a bit of it in the country music channel and you know, maybe I'm jaded because I wasn't in those, but yeah. I felt they were all kind of sort of pale imitations of the original Discovery Channel biker build off. Um, yeah. And, you know, fantastic concept. And, you know, one of the highlights for me was, you know, we did that whole um, the biker build off awards show thing that we had in Vegas at the Hard Rock Hotel. I mean, that was just the best of times. I mean, the, yeah. the, you know that that really was. You know that that was kind of it. I mean, that night was possibly the pinnacle of, you know, my career. Just because you know, I, you know, everybody there was friends. You know, uh, you know, we all got to dress. Uh, it was it was you know that was like the pinnacle of being treated like you know you were some yeah. sort of rock star when really all you were was a glorified mechanic who you know liked bikes. Um, yeah. Yeah. So that a yeah, really good time. But anyway, I went off point a little bit there. Yeah. They were very professional. They didn't get in the way. They caught everything. There was never a, oh, you know, I didn't manage to catch you dropping that boulder on your foot. Could you do it yeah. again, please? Um, yeah. And for the most part, edited it together, uh, you know, and, and made a pretty entertaining show. I mean, I, yeah. no, I no. really thought that trike one that we did with the Detroit brothers was was a great show and not yeah. just because you know they're easy to laugh at and uh, our trike was so fabulous but uh, yeah. you know um you know it, it just was it was humorous and and cool and you know really 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 good stuff good tv you know good yeah, yeah, no, it and was, stands it the test of time stands the test of time now uh, maybe you can clarify something for me because i've heard a little rumor that uh, that they're, they're trying to bring it's back or, or the concept of the show back and if if it were to happen let's say i'm not saying if you have any inside information but let's say if it were to come back 
would you want to do it? I don't have any inside information. I would very much like to do it conceptually. Yeah. Um, but the other thing with the Discovery Show well, and Builder Bust also, yeah. you know, huge. In, you, we didn't get paid for that stuff. You've got no, to understand no. that most people don't realize that. No, Nobody no, no, paid sure. us for Biker Build Up. Nobody paid for the bikes. Russell paid for the bikes. You know, yeah. Russell paid for that truck. Fortunately, it was at a time when, when the company was making enough money that we could afford to. Um, you know, they would pay for the hotels and, you know, they would put on the shindigs, but um, we we had to finance that. Now, you know, whether I could afford to suddenly say, okay, I'm going to muck about for the next six weeks in front of a camera and build yeah. a bike out of my own pocket and tell the bloke in Holland who's desperately waiting to pay me the balance on this bike that he's going to have yeah. to wait another six weeks. You know, there's, there's always a way. I, yeah. You know, I would love to. The other, the other thing is, from a strictly business viewpoint, you know, you got to ask where the payback comes. Yeah, there's so many channels and so many different ways of viewing video content these days. Yeah. You know, it's streaming changed. this, that, YouTube, it, that it, it yeah. is very, very, very different. So, yeah. to be able to command those viewing audiences that the Discovery Show in particular was able to get, yeah. that is not easy in this day and age. You know, Game of Thrones can do it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, and, yeah, you know, major, major blockbusters can do it. But, but they, they had the girl Khaleesi and the dragons, and that kind of helped. Right. Them. But, you know, you've you got you to gotta ask yourself, you know, am I going to do this, put it up on TV and get three emails that say, oh, I liked your show, mate, but if I'd done it, I'd have painted it yellow. Yeah. And, yeah. like, okay, that's great. Now I've got a bike that like, just cost me whatever it is, you know, tens of thousands of dollars out of pocket sitting here. Um, yeah. just one more thing I've got to sell. So it, it would be, a, I would have to question how much it was going to encroach on, you know, day to day work and, yeah. and, you know, what the payback is, but I would very much like, I mean, yeah, I'd love to wave a magic wand and have those days back. You know what yeah. I mean? I'd love to, love to, love to have that, you know, presence. Um, sure. but it, but again, the other part of it all, and I'm not knocking your reality TV fame in any way, shape, or form, because I don't know a lot about that. Um, oh, but, come on. You're, you're my but, number one fan. You know you are. You told me before uh, before we came on, uh, hey, start recording, you said, I'll watch all your shows now. Don't watch spoil it. Don't spoil yeah. it. I said yeah, I was going to pretend to America. I watch it all. all the time. All the time, mate. <laughs> there you go. Go on. Yeah. There you go. Um, the, uh, the the I think that reality TV has somehow changed, and I'm not yeah, sure yeah. that my tolerance ethic, you know, I'm not um, I'm not quite sure how I'm down to sort of play some sort of patsy who's pretending to be angry at the engine bloke for no real reason. He's not yeah. really on the other end of the phone, you know what I mean? I like reality TV that is real. Yeah, um, absolutely. You know what I well, mean? Well, it's got to be. I mean, and, and also for the audience that would watch that kind of thing, uh, most would not would not stand for anything that's, you know, Well, contrived. you say that, though. You yeah. say that, but, you know, American oh, really? chopper. You, think- you know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, look how, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah. I watch, I you know, most reality TV these days, I find it insulting. It's like, you know, that guy yeah. didn't just come in with a bar of gold bullion that he thought was a Toblerone. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. You know, it's, it's just, you know, and I've, I've had the call, you know, hey, could we borrow one of your bikes and we want to bury it in the back of a shipping container and make out that some bloke just found it after 20 years? Yeah. You know, yeah. no, no, no. It, you know, so, so I'd be more interested in being involved with, and I tried to, you know, I, I, when the, when the discovery thing was on a, yeah decline or, or when the biker building thing was on a decline yeah. I, I i spent some serious money and time and you know with publicists and agents in hollywood trying to um pitch some shows that were much more of the how to i think yeah. the viewing audience would actually yeah like a show where you show them how you 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 make this or you know how they do that you know in, yeah. in the good old days of uh, document, well, not necessarily documentary, but you know, a, a yeah. informative shows rather sure. than it all be about you know slapstick. Yeah. Um, 
So, no, um, I'm not. I'd, I'd watch that. I'd yeah, watch no, that, I, I think I think there's a there's a there's an audience for it. Yes, and even if there isn't, I think one would develop very quick. I mean, look how the home improvement shows have come on. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I, I, I I'm, you know, I'm pretty hopeless in that really but i i love seeing the before and after stuff and i'm yeah. sure there's a lot of corners have to be cut for the budget but sure but you know the end result is there to be seen on the screen and yeah. it's interesting and it's interesting seeing how they get from a to b it's not yeah. about the you know oh she squirted him with whipped cream and you know yeah, what yeah, a yeah. naughty little yeah. type that guy's wife is you know <laughs> what i mean um but uh that's how i think it would go the whole head-to-head -head competition routine is you know it, it's a little tough to keep that going yeah uh, sure. i i think you know year in year in out show in show out um and to get the the viewing figures but anyway yeah. long story short would i like to be on tv yes would i like to yeah. be famous yes would i like to be rich yes am i happy yeah. you know coping with need uh, none of the above yes you know yeah.